Okay, this is a continuation of the sharp cap that I made last year on the exact same mount, the CGM DX, with the uh, GSO Newtonian 10 inch. What's different, um, High Point convinced me to go with the uh, Stellarview 60 millimeter refract refractor guide scope. What I like about it, it has the fine adjustments right there. And I'm using a QHY um, for my guide for guiding camera. Okay, so what we're going to talk about is the azimuth knobs. Now, my mount is facing to the north, so when Sharp Cap says, "Okay, move to the left," you turn this knob and actuate it to move. It says, "Turn right," you actuate this, and then you make it move. So when you're also making your adjustments, you want to make sure that you lock them down. This is the latitude lock adjuster here. And also when you're making your azimuth adjustments left and right where it's finalized, is uh, snug tight on the azimuth adjuster. Okay, this is your latitude adjustment here. You, normally you set this wherever, what latitude you're at, but due to the fact that SharpCap will be using your guide scope, um, you're going to have to make some course adjustments up or down. So when Shopcat says move up and down, you're actually moving your latitude knob adjustment. So with all that said, what well, we just gone over, so let's see how it goes. Okay, so here we are, starting with sharp cap, and I have it on on red. When I'm starting sharp cap, the mount is not on, as you can see here. Right now I'm adjusting the latitude, up and down. I'm still at good. All right, excellent. I got excellent. I'm gonna be happy with that. Okay, so there I have it. By adjusting the uh, the up and down knobs, which is your latitude, and then your your right azimuth knob here, and your left azimuth knobs. I dare not breathe on it, right? <laughs> so. Uh, there you have it. I got excellent. Thanks for watching. We have excellent polar alignment.